caught me doing my most favorite things, making balloon toys. I love balloon toys. Hey, who doesn't like balloons? I mean, what thing do children like the best? Balloons. One thing about balloons, they're not permanent. How about a way to make balloons pretty much last forever? We've learned to do that with a great new product from Industrial Polymers, Styro Spray 1000. Simply make the balloon, I must say it's a great balloon talk doll, doll. coat it with Styro Spray 1000, and then paint it with just simple Krylon paint. Temporary balloon dog, permanent balloon dog. Wow, another great product from Industrial Polymers. So we're going to show you how to use a Styro Spray with balloons. You know, this is an incredible new product from Industrial Polymers, Styro Spray 1000. We found a new use for it, and that's actually coating latex balloons and creating rigid shapes that can be used for the design elements or making balloons last for, for pretty much ever. So I've kind of started this. The way we did it is we simply hang a balloon by a thread, and then we start coating the balloon with the Styro Spray by just gently brushing on. And I've uh, left the top part purposely uncoated because it's just kind of easier to handle in the very beginning. And what I want to do is get a single layer of the Styro Spray on the entire balloon. And it will go on a little uneven, but give it time because it has the great ability to lay down and just glass out for you. But what you want to do with your brush is just kind of help it out, okay? So uh, just Put a little bit on and then let it kind of even itself out and then kind of help it out with the uh, with the brush okay so it looks like we've got it coated in the first coat you never get it all coated we're going to give this between two to four coats of the styro spray 1000 and you never want to give more than two coats in one day probably one in the morning and about four or five hours later before you go home the next coat okay and then the larger the balloon is the more coats you'll need probably about four is all you're going to need on smaller shapes, more consolidated balloons, probably just two coats. So we're going to let this go on, we're going to help it out, let it cure, and then after a couple of days we'll be able to take the balloon and actually cut it for you and show you what it's all about. So what we're about to do is actually try to blow up one of these balloons. To give you some scale of what we're trying to do here, the original balloon, to balloon dog toy that we blew up used a balloon just about like this. Latex balloon, small, buy them at any store. What we've done is go to the next level. We've purchased giant latex balloons that we're going to blow up. And these puppies will be 80 inches long and almost two foot in diameter. We're going to spray these in with Styro Spray, coat them, and make us a giant Trojan horse style toy balloon dog. See if we can do it. Okay, we've got it filled up. This behemoth is 80 inches long and almost two foot in diameter. And it's gonna make up only one of the elements of balloon dog toy. Uh, this will probably be just the tail element. This is crazy. 80 inches long, we're gonna give it four coats of Star Spray 1000 to beef it up. Let's see if we can do it.
we've coated all the balloons for our, our giant balloon dog structure, and we give it about three or four coats of Star Spray 1000, and we've let them set for about three or four days, and now the balloon is totally self-supporting. We can cut the ends out, doesn't hold any pressure anymore. So now we're going to put some strength to what we've got. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill out the end of the balloons, insert some plastic pipe to give us a stanchion all the way through, and then we're going to secure the bulkheads with foam through a cartridge gun system. And we're going to show you how to do all this. Okay, so we're going to drill a hole through our balloon, just in each end, a two inch hole, so we can slide a PVC pipe through it to give us some structure. To do that, we're going to use a simple drill and a two inch hole saw. And there it is, nice clean hole, got a lot of star spray. The star spray is almost a half an inch inside, so it's set up real nice. And we've got some special techniques about how we set the inside. We coated the inside of the balloon and the outside of the balloon to give it strength. And to the star spray on the inside, we added just a small amount of water. How much? For every 100 grams of star spray, we added about 1% of just tap water and stirred it into it and poured it in the balloon, sloshed it around, and let, let it set up and it sets up very thick when you do that. Now on the outside, we just let that moisture cure on the outside like we would normally do star spray. Well, we've drilled the hole, and we're gonna now insert the PVC tube, and we're gonna secure it with polyurethane expanding foam. To hold the PVC in place just temporary, I'm going to use some clay and make a temporary gasket around the bottom. Then we're going to set this in a bucket so that we can inject the foam. And what I found is you put a little bit of foam in first and let it form a seal inside and then come back and fill the rest of the bottom in. You don't have to fill the whole balloon, just the bulkheads. It works much, much better. Well, we've got the pipe sealed up with clay and centered, and now we've loaded a cartridge set, large cartridge set with our expanding polyurethane foam, and we're going to inject that into here slowly using a pneumatic cartridge gun setup. We fill both ends with foam, and the pipe is in there. The next step is we're going to die, use a die grinder, and we're going to cut this end off and grind this end down to make it smooth. And we're going to do the other end as well. We did the injection of the foam about in the center. No worries, we'll be able to cover this up and, and camouflage that totally. So now this is actually a structural piece now. Well, that's it. It's a simple balloon dog. Every party has them. You've seen them since you were kids. We asked ourselves, was could you construct large items from actually balloons? And we decided that we'd try this out and we were able to do this. And by using our Styrospray 1000 and ordinary latex balloons, we were able to accomplish building permanent items from balloons you would normally not be able to do it. Well, we decided we were gonna build a giant balloon dog just to prove the point.